My name is Ramson, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, where we're heading into the sprawl, but we've got some negative relationships in our party as a result of the Leviathan that we took out in the first area. However, when that Leviathan took out our Jester, they opened the opportunity to add a Bounty Hunter. Well, a Hellion, who was then replaced by a Bounty Hunter in our squad. Let's see what the Bounty Hunter can do. Behold, the great cities of man, ruined and aflame. Hmm. Academic alt- SHAMBLER'S ALTAR! <sighs> Boy. There's an oasis after it. And I do want to visit an oasis. You're really going to do this to me immediately, game? There's no oases later on the map. I'm in bad shape. I've just taken big risks. Can I really afford to take another big risk right now? I'm doing it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Oh, you've forced me to have emboldening vapors as one of my moves, so now I don't get to choose incision. Rude. Has that screwed anyone else up significantly? I mean, let's probably drop Festa for Deathless. No, it doesn't look like otherwise it's really affected anyone too heavily. Oh god. Oh, why did I... It's just... Whatever. I want to see what the shambler is. Show me a shambler. Let me shamble him. <laughs> All right. We've got two options here. Come on, we know better, says Dismas. Who does? And Damien says, such a lovely shade of crimson. He is now a cosmic slayer. And that matters. Oh, the enemies hasten. Oh, they what? The stars. They the managed to shuffle our party positioning. Rude. Undulating withdrawal. Some DOTs for us. The Shambler has 85 HP. It's 50 on all of their most of their resists. It looks like at least. Uh. Yeah, I want to roll an attack to try and take out one of these tentacles before it really gets to act. Ah! A promising development. Nah, that worked out pretty well. Can I? 
Okay, I can up the torch a little bit in here. Let's rectify our party positioning. I'm thinking... Wow, I could kill the Shambler Tentacle without even using a PVS here. I could also use Tracking Shot to remove three dodge tokens from a Shambler. That matters. That matters a lot. Also adds a combo token to them. Setting up the ability to hit them much more easily with Noxious Blasts. Steady yourself. Unfortunately, useful Clapper Claw right there. Oh. If they keep shuffling my entire party, I may actually <laughs> not be able to do this. Uh, I'm gonna have to endure to take some stress off of Paracelsus hits. The only thing that then leaves my other characters in positions where they can still do useful things. advance to set up repost as well as guarantee that that target is dead before it ever gets to act. Take out another one of the Shambler's tentacles. I like a tentacle dying. About now. Ooh. Do I want to emboldening vapors are uh, uh, Dismas? No. No, I want to hit D.O.T. Measured and steady. Don't move him away from the front line. Thank you. Uh, block plus. <laughs> Come on, let me hit him. I gotta do five damage instead of twenty. Yeah, I'm gonna become toxic as hell. You're not ready for how angry I'm gonna be. Uh, okay, now I can do an extra 50% damage to this target with the combo token on board. I'm gonna elect to do that. If we never take down the Shambler, it doesn't matter what else happens, we lose. Got these bandages on myself, and move you manually backwards to set up for 18 damage ooh disease resist love to see that I'm going to use healing salve to save Paracelsus collect bounty unfortunately I can't collect bounty right up to the back line anymore I could try and debuff them. Heck, I could even try and stun you. Oh no, their stun resist is really high. Uh... Sure. You know what, Damien? No one likes you. Why don't you prove why? See, it's because he's so toxic. Look at him, just yelling. It's about the only toxic thing he really does. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. I am going to have to get rid of these Clapper Claws at some point as well. So I may as well start working on that, I think. Um, 
use the advance. Gaining a dodge token as well as those combo tokens. Agony by accumulation. Hmm. Oh, the Shambler seems to have managed to clear its own DOTs there. Uh, unless it didn't have enough DOTs for that to matter. Don't move back, don't move back, don't move back. Yes! By not moving back, the Shambler is now collectible. Get on Death's door. And you've got a DOT on you. As much as I would like to clear a thing on a different person, Paracelsus, if you don't heal yourself, we're too vulnerable. There goes the first Shambler of the series. <laughs> I'd love to heal someone, but I recognize that a plague grenade here prevents significantly more distress. All right, so, a combat item. Uh, two flammable, noxious, otherworldly fragments. Each, uh, oh, each burn and blight for five turn, uh, for three turns for five damage. Wild. It's also a bounces belt. Uh, extra healing received from skills, but lower move resists. And then finally, the Eyes of the Void. Indelible Trinket. Apply on hit. If stress is equal to exactly five. Five bleed, five... Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Five bleed, five uh, blight, and five burn. And on hit, gain a stress, if your stress is above five. So then you would need to start removing that stress quickly. I don't really know how our team could utilize that. If well at all, in fact. I mean, it might be good at the very start of a fight, when I know, like, a character already has five stress and I'm about to go into a fight, so I can try and set something up. That's probably the position where I could see it being most useful for us. Dismas, yeah, resentful relationship there. At least it should be. Uh, Oasis. We need stress reduction. We already planned to go to the Oasis after the Shambler. It was part of the reason the Shambler didn't feel as awful of a uh, risk to take as it otherwise might. We lose a little bit of shielding on our vehicle, but we make it to a location that should help us to reduce some stress across our party. Possibly only to a single target, though. stress recovery there. Also get some torch. All it cost was uh, Dismas's opinion of Damien being zero now. Unfortunately that also the the you know gaining of negative relationships between characters also did not reset anything. The loathing whispers. Let's give you some more Traps, Dismas. 
Thankfully, we're getting a lot of road healing before we actually have to worry about the next encounter. Not that it's a battle. It's, in fact, a couple desperate few. Uh, yeah, I'm going for a sound. Be foolish not to if they're paying. Negative five light, but we get a bunch of resources here. Some in items, rather. Uh, two clarifying poultices. Extra stun resist for our frontline characters, most likely. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. Oblivion's Ingress. So that gives us the ability to fight some cultists. In doing so, I believe... I believe it might guarantee that we get a, a cultist trinket. Possibly the ability to replace our healing effects for Dismas. Both of these lead us into an unavoidable assistance and then store. Uh, alternatively, I could take road fights and a later Oblivion's Ingress. And this is a way for me to still get an Oblivion's Ingress However, we get to pick up road battles on the way there to try and help reduce our stress and help heal up a little bit, uh, as well as... avoid uh, losing wheels and such. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We're going to go on the leftmost hero path here. Look ahead. A place to reflect, remember, and reconcile. Exactly. Right in this battle. That's the place. I love this. <laughs> oh, get him! And your reposts are done with big damage, too. Before that guy ever acts, let's get a blight on him. And we get the repost with ridiculous damage. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to endure some stress here. Throw some Caltrops at their backliner. Fail, in fact, to bleed them, though. Oh, combo token set up on the target. Don't like having that there. Oh. Not an awful amount I can do about it right now. Play grenade their backliner. I'm looking to pull them forward with come hither. Yoink! A steady subtraction, an invariable result. To try and set up a target where I will have the ability to kill them before they get another action, so I don't have to worry about that uh, finishing blow. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. I don't think we came out of that with any stress reduction, but we did change the location of some of that stress. And that's also a thing you can do. I'm not going to say it's great, but it is doable. Uh, ding dong. Time to figure something out about someone. <laughs> the bounty hunter is like, I don't have a past, and I don't need to learn anything. Uh, Paracelsus. Magellant. Dismas. You know, Dismas, you still don't have Grape Shot Blast. And that could be interesting. But Damien... I don't even know the rest of your abilities. Three. More 
More. More. He roved out in search of torment, consuming the sin of any who would purge their misdeeds upon his body. Each wound fueled his fervor, a rapture only found in baptism by the lash. Drunk on his bloody intentions, manic with the need for some elusive apotheosis, he gouged at himself without mercy. As blood poured from his rendered flesh, his consciousness faltered, and the thundering hoofbeats of death rang violent in his ears. Oh, are we going to get a full description for why you are, in fact, now much more scarred and deathly, perhaps, than you ever be have been before? Suffer! Uh, requires the target to have a DOT on them. And it steals the DOT as well as gives death blow resistance to the self. I wonder what the upgrade is there, because by base, that doesn't look particularly good. The upgrade has a uh, self. At the end of the next turn, remove the DOT. So you get to steal from a target and then remove the DOTs that you already have as well as the DOTs you gain from them at the end of the next turn. Myriad Neat. options require careful deliberation. Damn. I really want to go to a hoarder. I have a lot of baubles, and I don't have a lot of ridiculous relics. Is there ever a path where I take the assistance encounter on the right? It's three stress removed from the party. Unfortunately, it loses a wheel as well as an armor for us. We also miss out on the Oblivion's Ingress, but we did take a pretty large risk earlier on. But also, hey, we've hired a bounty hunter. He's leaving. We can take risks. Go on for the Oblivion's Ingress. The Avatars of Oblivion. Clergy of the spreading stain. I feel like I'm being taken the apart by our negative relationships. The fire, their flesh melting like candle wax. Don't get me wrong, the negative relationships themselves aren't already ruining us. It's the the uh one sec. It's the fact that after this area, I'm going to have only negative relationships left, I believe. PBS? Get him. Please stop critting while I'm singing. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna endure some stress off of Dismas here. I'd like it people did like Dismas, actually. Thunk. Maximum damage we can do without a crit, and it's guaranteed to kill. <laughs> Dismas has managed to move to the very back of the party. I do need to remove that negative from Dismas. The disease, actually, it is. Measured and steady. Oh no! I just did him! Now I don't have the ability to use any more stress recovery before the end of the fight. Man, I really wish the Oasis was just stress recovery for everyone on the team. Like, you know, negative two stress for everyone or something like that. It would have been really helpful. And here's the Oblivion's Ingress. Everyone agrees that we should do it. <laughs> Let's get
get slightly better relationship between uh, <laughs> Dismas and Damien here. Please don't spit in each other's directions every time you see one another. What? <laughs> Stop shuffling me constantly. Oh. We're definitely going to have another meltdown in this fight. I can already feel it. If I can move this evangelist back, I can try and make their crit significantly less powerful. Crit, I'm not really going to be able to do much about that. Unfortunately, we did manage to blight it, but we didn't manage to bleed it there. On the altar? I'm going to set up combo and two vulnerability on the altar. The reason I'm doing this is because those vulnerabilities will remove both of the other stacks on the enemy. The crow's feet for you some bleed. Them yet. Leaving us with an altar that is significantly less defended. I've three stacks of what? what can we learn upon closer inspection? You're kidding me. I don't think I got to repost because one of the targets on board has taunt and it wasn't the target that attacked me. That's not how the enemies are forced to attack this target if able. That doesn't mean enemies cannot target anyone else. It means if you're able, you must target this unit. Which Paracelsus will do. Now that rush judgment did basically nothing. Simple kindness. Time to become toxic. Oh, flip and heck and dang. Yeah. Barely changes anyone's opinion of him. They all hated him already. Gonna use another duelist advance despite the weakness. That'll guarantee the death of that altar. Sure. Reasonable bounty claim there. Get dodged and crit in response. I really don't want to weaken Dismas. I don't really want to roll the Battlefield Medicine right now. I'm... I'm gonna roll Emboldening Vapors on... Oh no, they only have a 50% chance to hit! Ugh! I'm gonna use the other world in Fragment on... this. Good. That got rid of my blindness token, so now I can collect bounty for 18 damage. 
we're getting pretty close to not really worrying about the existence of these characters much longer. You're now on your death's door, which means you'll die before you get to act. Steal some negative tokens for yourself healing there, buddy. Hmm. Managed to crit the corpse. Ooh, you didn't manage to stress him out just yet, though. I'm gonna pull that bad boy a wee bit forward here. Hit him straight up with a 10 damage. Let's endure some more stress off of my team. Enemy goes down onto the ground. They might even just... Oh, well. Would have been better if they did uh, Nocturne's Commune. Little bit more health before we get out of here. All right. We'd reprieve until the next test is put before you. Some great pickups there from our trinkets. The loathing whispers. We now have. 20% max HP extra, that obviously goes on the flagellant. And then for the dark impulse, I don't, yeah, have extra burn resist, in fact, on our highwayman. Seems great. Extra healing given, less healing received from skills. You know, 20% extra healing given, less healing received from skills. I really don't think the flagellant should hold that. I think I'm pretty comfortable with what we're currently holding on all of the people who are currently holding things. Let's consult the map a little. Ah! Ah! That's a hoarder! <laughs> Wake me when there's a problem, says Isal. Do you, uh, do you remember anything that's happened yet, Isal? Because uh, I would define a lot of it as problematic. At the least. All right, Horda. Please be full of goodies. The early experiment. It's an indelible trinket of the plague doctor. If a noxious item is equipped, you deal two extra blight. That is overwhelmingly remarkable. On hit from disorienting blast, two blight, 50% of the time, making disorienting blast significantly better. Incision does less, 100% uh, less bleed. I'm not intending on that. When stress damage heal 33%, 10% uh, of the time, the Brodding Bandit. Does it count as stress damage? <laughs> if, uh, if the flagellant causes themselves to take stress. A tinderbox. Apply on hit. If a flammable item is equipped, apply a burn third, a, a third of the time. And if a flammable item is equipped, uh, pierce the burn resistance of enemies. And then there's also, down here, Laden Lantern. Flammable. Pierce the burn resistance of enemies. Seems like those are pretty cool. I really wish I had just a little bit more in terms of baubles. I 
Legitimately, the big problem here is that early experiment is incredible as soon as I have something noxious. And the problem is, if I don't get anything noxious, it's garbage. However, prodding pendant... You know what? Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Indeed, Wayne. <sighs> I'm not going to spend any more. Oh, I, I'd lose my cleansing class. I could buy, like, seriously good resistance. Who's holding the sodden sweater? Wait, what? I killed a leviathan. There's no way the jester had the sodden sweater on. Didn't I? What? Sorry, what? What happened? Um... I... I don't know. I don't think the Jester was holding the sodden sweater. Oh. I gave it to the Hellion and then I paid to replace the Hellion with a Sal. So instead of giving me the trinkets and things that she was holding back, it's just left them on her. I hope that she comes back with them. Trap Maker's Kit. Curious is the Trap Maker's Art. I'm gonna take the Greater Protectorate. And give it... to Damien. Extra max HP, I guess, to the bounty hunter at the moment. So the the big idea here is that when Damien is more of a backline unit after the uh, Hellion comes back, they're going to be more focused around healing. So I'll be able to move trinkets between people and be pretty happy with the outcome. All right. Other than that, everyone's uh, looking pretty good at the moment. We've got a battle upcoming that'll give us the ability to clear our loathing. Oh, hello, healing solve. No one's currently holding that. I'm really surprised by that, actually. Damien, use your final torch in the next fight, and then I'll replace that with something else. I don't think I need healing souls for this upcoming fight, though. I think I can get away without them. Out. No fight left. Absolutely not. Let's spoil for some blood sport. Also, like, it doesn't matter if the uh, you know the 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 bounty hunter has awful relationships with everyone. I think, I think that's totally fine. Imlatist. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Eh. It's just. Straight up play grenades for both of the backliners there. Fire play, and we did it! Meltdown, Esau! Meltdown. And you've become fanatophobic.
to set up extreme vulnerability on that target. PBS this guy. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Hmm. Pop a light up. I mean, I don't want them killing the bounty hunter. But also, he can't charge us if he's dead. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to just take out the corpse on the field. That would be nice, though. Neat stab. A fiery haze of blindness. That's more than fine, as it gives me opportunity to easily heal a character on our field. Eleven damage, despite my weakness and your dodge. Love it. Hither takes out another unit on the field, moves them very far forward at the same time. Now we're just left with Damien. Uh... Three. Time for some endurance. Small acts that drive back the darkness. Perfect. Love we'll to immediately kill them in response. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. We got a tinderbox there. One of the things that I pointed out in the previous An area. <gasps> is it not? I, I don't care about Asal, you're leaving. Yeah, Dismas, I need to cure your... Your disease, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. We'll take a road battle along the way, shouldn't be too bad. Oh, this is exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Not bad at all. No! Yeah, you can't disease a uh, flagellant, buddy. Gotta get up pretty early in the morning if you're gonna disease a flagellant. Agony by accumulation. I'm amazed we didn't manage to take that target out in a single action. I'm gonna go more, more. Simply electing to try and set up a build wherein uh, our Flagellant takes the most hit. Although, never mind, we get the urchin down in time thanks to the extra speed on our Plague Doctor. Yes. Strike me. Strike me down. Oh, it works. That counts as stress damage. Oh, that's such a good pickup then. Let's try and repair some relationships. Caustic agony. Wherever possible. An unexpected find. I wonder if I've just set up a party that is effectively going to hate my flagellant the entire time. Because it's going to be difficult to dig upwards, right? More negative relationship, more stress given out to the entire team. There goes the small box. I would love to do anything else here, but I cannot afford to do anything else here. Yep. 
it's uh, it's about all I can do in the pharmacy, but sorry, in the in the field hospital, but very much worth it. Smallpox is not exactly what I was hoping for our big riposta to do. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. One enemy down. Two enemies down! Very quickly as well. Pretty much exactly what I'd love to see. I'm gonna pull the crack shot forward. Try and prevent them from ever getting a useful action here. Unfortunately, we must punish this pup. I knew that they were going to have a weak action from the very front position, so I elected to kill the other target on board. Great. Pull them back to the front. Uh, as soon as they get to take their next action... Nice! Oh, the big eels! It's not a guy who's so tough as well. I love it. Flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. We hold the torch aloft. We are its hope. Oh, I got a stack of flipjacks! That's exactly yes! Love it! Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the minus sharpness charm as well to make extra space. I'm the Oblivion's Rampart. This shouldn't be too bad. Okay, with the block plus token on their frontliner, I'm gonna hit you with a noxious <laughs> blast and crit. Nice. Uh, before PBSing you for 24 damage and adding a combo token to you. It's okay, Damien's just a little bit toxic right now. Don't mind him, he's working through it. Hopefully. I'm comfy with this. And apply it judiciously. The enemy weakens and wanes. I'm less comfortable with what just happened there, though. I'm gonna try and stun the enemies. Oh gosh. They can only use lashes. That is to say, uh, owl. Flagellant can only use lashes. Oh, negative 30% death blow resistance until the next in. <gasps> Please don't. The fiend's strength dwindles. Fifty-one percent chance for them to live. Forty-nine to die. They're dead. 
God damn it. It's finally passed on. Okay. Well, um, that happened. So you do what else you can. I'm going to pull the altar forward. Unfortunately, the cardinal is taunting. I'm gonna throw a crow's foot, Weaken them. removing the taunt them and giving work. me the ability to attack the altar directly. We do maximum damage to the altar. I'm gonna flashbang the altar as well. We did manage to stun it. Really? Your hollow vessel, Dismas, who melts down. What is the base uh, virtue chance? It's increasingly feeling like that's a relevant statistic to my life. Damage confirms that kill. Don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> Still technically alive! Burn self on oneself to get off of death door. Flashbang the enemy to try and stun them. Their stun resist is very low. I could also... Oh, Sour is basically going to be our only damage dealer for the rest of the fight. Oh, the enemy is going to be healing after this turn anyway. I'm going to flashbang you. We do manage to get a stun, we also manage to get a blind token, we also set them up with another combo token, which is going to be very relevant. I'm going to Noxious Blast you. Crit you! Get another target off of Death's Door. Further away from it, at least. I want to mark the enemy but I can't guarantee that I would even be able to finish them. Maybe five damage. Don't die, Christmas. Thank you. I'm gonna try and roll an additional bleed. We crit the enemy, we are no longer on death's door with Di Well, we are on death's door, but we're no longer on DOT death's door with Dismas. The enemy was stunned, so they didn't get to act that round. I'm gonna PBS this enemy. In doing so, we hit him with a combo token which amps up the damage of a attack from don't don't kill don't kill anyone don't no that was the Every whole party must end no i wanted him Ugh. Let us hope 
hope they find peace. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna get back to Paracelsus and we're gonna die immediately. No! Meltdown time! There we go. We've become darkly curious. Ah! He understood <laughs> death, but could not defy it. Try I tried try so again. hard you and got so far. But in the end, we still lost the video game. Look, I don't think it was a shamble that killed us there. I think it was uh, a little bit before that. <clears throat> it was uh, a leviathan. How many souls are lost forever in this lightless obscurity? How many indeed, Gim? How many indeed? We got 22 to spend here, at least. Hearts and minds will carry the day. I need to unlock a lot more in items and a lot more trinkets. Start off runs with additional in items and trinkets and things like that tends to be quite good. Let's uh, get an item. A welcome advancement in the science of survival. Extra speed until next in on round start. Get. 75% uh, block token 5% uh, of the time until next in. Oh, invigorating intoxicant. Extra death low resistance. <laughs> this would have been useful. Uh, extra speed while on death's door and extra crit while on death's door. Stone mount. Oh, sick. Turn end. Convert block tokens to block plus tokens. I wonder if maybe I should take a man-at-arms out just to have this. Gain on miss, if first in the turn or- Yeah, that doesn't happen to a man-at-arms. <laughs> a drop of sanity in a sea of madness. Strong shackles apply on hit to taunt to the target 33% of the time- uh, to lock position, rather, to the target 33% of the time. However, we are stunned 5% of the time when we miss. Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. <laughs> Cruel intent, if a stain item is equipped, turn start, you get two blindness tokens. However, if you are blind, you get plus 66% crit. That would be ridiculous on a build that has combo and leper, so that you can ignore the blindness on yourself. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. Ooh, extra hero shrine scouting location. Sounds good to me. A speed bag, the extra dodge until next in. Plus ten percent traveling heal until next in, as well as healing received from other characters until next in. Neat. Take one more trinket. Pristine lure. Gain on hit. Taunt fifty percent of the time, or taunt two twenty-five percent of the time. On miss, however, two bleed. <laughs> A garden gauntlet. Turn start, gain uh, block 15% of the time. Th that and the stone horse on a man at arm seems pretty cool. Can I get a damage trinket? Disarming dagger. On hit, weaken the enemy 15% of the time. On miss, strengthen them 20% of the time. Okay. I have a couple ideas what I might want to do with these. Wisdom will help you choose a path. Resourcefulness will ensure you survive it. Resourcefulness. We can get lower stagecoach repair costs. And start moving towards bartering. Plus 12 relics whenever you appro uh, arrive at a hoarder. Having academic caches be useful or valley in. Yeah, okay. I wanna I wanna get all the way up to wealth in the resourcefulness line. For the moment, I think I will settle for taking another stagecoach item and maybe another inn item. Iron banded wheel. Oh, okay, so it's like the steel plated armor, but for oh, wheels retreat. rather than the armor. Our pastoral retreats were always welcomed by the hardy folk of the fields. Indeed, they were. Our recollection holds much more now as a result of 
our fervent unlocking, as well as the facing of a shambler. However, the road calls once more to its dark passenger. Truly, knowing exactly what's available in this game will take a little bit more work. We're going to be starting that in the next run, in the next episode. Until then, though, my name is Ramsey, the name of the game. Darkest Dungeon 2, series playlist up at the top left, YouTube recommendation down below, stream fast in the names of the people's agency supporting Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays, and a Rob the Third Tier. Special thanks this episode to Yannick, hopefully you'll be enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you all next time.